The constipation. The, the kids start going through that cycle of getting tula trained. Uh -huh. Do you see a lot of this popping up about that same time? If the child is now asked to have the bowel movements in a certain way, form, shape that he's not accustomed to, in other words, going from the doing it at his leisure or when he's not even thinking about it in the diaper to having to perform, that absolutely becomes a time when it's more likely to have the onset of constipation. Another time, interestingly enough, is when the child transition to whole cow milk. Whole cow milk has a lot of minerals in it, and that can actually exacerbate or, or create a situation that has constipation. So what would be a suggestion if you changed the whole milk and we got a period like that? Would there be anything you would suggest you should do? Well, the first thing, the first thing is to determine if the amount of whole milk is excessive. And certainly a child who comes in drinking six, seven glasses of whole milk a day and eating very little food, they need to be redirected. If they and go to say two glasses a day, 16 ounces, which is recommended, they do will put once in a while, and they still get constipated. Is there anything you could do to get better? Yes, what happens usually in those situations, usually, um, is that the children love the milk, and they don't want to drink anything else. So I always tell the moms that the only thing that we can do to be depending on is that we're a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit smarter than the kids. So we take the eight ounce bottle of milk and on Monday we put seven ounces of milk and one ounce of water. And we give that to the child and I've never had a kid not respond to that. On Wednesday, we give it to them the same way Monday, Tuesday, we go two ounces of water, six ounces of milk. On Friday, we go three ounces of water, five ounces of milk, and on Sunday, we go to half and half. And that nice gradual transition, I've never had the kids really have trouble. So we wouldn't them. recommend any kid who's getting tool trained to listen to this thing? Well, any kind of kid who's having trouble with regard to having uh, toilet training taking place, certainly. So it's not a secret, no one should know about this. No, it's no <laughs> secret. It's no secret at all. There are a few kids and a very small minority, but there are a few kids who in fact have some intolerance to the milk from a lot of different reasons. Oftentimes it's, it's not a true allergy, but it's in that spectrum, and those children will have a decrease in the way that their intestines have peristalsis or have their own contractions such that they will have difficulty having regular bowel movements with milk. And uh, there was a study from the Midwest about seven years ago that was in the a prestigious New England Journal that identified a whole group of these kids in one, uh, in one practice. So if it appears that everything else you've tried and you think you've had good compliance and still, why not give the child a two-week holiday of no milk? You can give them soy milk or rice milk. Make certain that they have vitamin D and calcium because those are the important things that the child's having an otherwise balanced diet, and see what impact that has on the